Oh, Miss Walker. Very happy to finally catch up with you. Mr. Canton, what on earth do you want? To take you back home, whether you like it or not. Come on, give me your hands, please. Mr. Canton, I don't know how much the people who hired you promised for delivering me to them. But if it's only a question of money, maybe... Stop right there, Miss Walker. You're being a tad insulting. Listen, my professional integrity has never been in doubt in over 20 years of work. Come on! Wrists out! Mr. Marson? Finally! I have her! Yes, she is safe and sound. I have Miss Walker under control. I'll keep you informed of our progress. It'll take a day or two at most. I suppose there are a few procedural obstacles to overcome before we can leave the country. Listen. All these things I'm accused of are completely untrue. Hans's murder. Embezzlement. It's nonsense. And while we're wasting time here, I can't help the Yukels. And believe me, they really need it. I am not your enemy, Miss Walker. If you haven't done anything like you say, it's in your interest to go back and defend yourself in court. There's nothing left for you to do here anyway. Not everyone here is your friend in these parts, I'm afraid. Well... Nothing personal, you understand, Mr. Canton. But I'm not leaving with you. There's no way. I don't think you really have a choice. Oh, we'll see about that. Help! Help! Help me! My God, Miss Walker! Shut up, will you? Don't make me gag you. Good luck, Mr. Detective. God, I don't believe it! Yes, yes, I thought I heard someone shouting too. No, no, it didn't come from here. More like the other side. Over there! Follow me! Quick! I have to get free and get out of here while Canton is busy! Useless. That's no use to me. A glass bottle. Maybe if I knock it over. Break. God, I need to find something else. Useless. It looks like it's pretty heavy. Maybe if I give it a little push. Now let's have a closer look at these pieces of glass. I should be able to use it. I could get hurt seeing how big it is. Too far. Get out of here before Canton comes back. Stamps. But not one is the right shape, of course. Miss Kate, 
to a good Valsenbor. Better not attract Canton's attention. I was just calling you for help. Why didn't you come? You are police officers, aren't you? I have my orders, and they are not to intervene in the affairs of the American detective. The order came from up high, you know. And besides, my officially designated duty here is to make sure that only people with a proper pass may have access to the town. <gasps> the rest isn't one of my official assignments, miss. I see. Your spirit of initiative does you proud. I'd still like to go back to Valsambor now. Without a pass, you shall not pass. Miss Walker! No, wait! I have an arrest warrant for this woman. Arrest her! Believe me, it's a really good thing that the nomads can't just come and go around Valsambor as they please anymore. That big boat, the Crystal, it's been rotting at the dock for years. Things are heating up for Mayor Bulyakin. We're going to see the nomad suit. Apparently they have good prices. Since the town hall closed the port, we sometimes get the impression we're living in a ghost town. It's because of the lake monster that the locks are closed.
Are you okay, sir? One more step and you were in the drink. I-E-N-O. <laughs> Pardon? It's me, Captain Obo. Obo! Proud commander of the... Uh, this is proud crystal. So don't you, sir, me. Well, delighted. Captain, I'm Kate Walker. I'm looking for Steiners, the clockmaker. If I fall in the water, Taylor, you'll be to go straight to hell. So don't... Don't fall in the water, Sail. You understand? Bastard's waiting for me. Who are you talking about? The monster of the lake is waiting for us all, miss. Ev everyone's time comes eventually. To finish the work. Come on. Back in the fight. Because you can never lower your guard. Never. Why is access to the boats blocked? Thank you. 